Hey everybody, this is Michael Pavlovich, and I get asked a lot about what my workstation setup is at home and what kind of hardware I'm running while I'm doing both my live and pre-recorded content for my personal projects. As you can see, this is my basic setup. I have a stand-up desk, I have a Wacom tablet, I have a couple monitors stacked on top of each other, I've got a little dog over here in the corner, got my green screen behind me, got my webcam up here, got my system down here, and of course a little rubber mat to stand on to save my knees a little bit. As far as the system goes, we're using the AMD Ryzen Threadripper, which was very kindly provided to me by the awesome folks over at AMD. I can't thank them enough. Here's the AMD Ryzen Threadripper 1950X 16 core processor. It's got the 3.4 gigahertz base, 4.0 gigahertz boost, 16 cores, 32 threads, 64 PCIe lanes, and that's being cooled by a main gear closed loop liquid cooling Epic 240 super cooler. Moving right along, you're going to see we have 128 gig of HyperX Predator DDR4 3000 quad channel Kingston RAM. And all of this is being plugged into the ASUS X399 Zenith Extreme motherboard. It has the AMD X399 chipset and a whole bunch of overclocking features. For the graphics card, we have the NVIDIA GeForce 1080 Ti, 11 gig. For the power supply, we have a EVGA 1000 watt Supernova 80 plus. For operating system drive, we have a 2 terabyte Samsung 850 Evo. And finally, for the exterior finish, we have the Brush Black Aluminum Main Gear Rush Chassis with tempered glass sides. And like I mentioned before, we got the eight USB 3.1s in the back, and then we've got these three USB 3.1s on the side and a USB-C connector right there. Going back to the original setup here, you can see I've got a sidewise monitor over here that I can put documents on if I'm doing any lengthy reading. But my main two monitors here are the Dell U3415W 34-inch curved ultra-wide monitors. If you go further in the video, you'll see both the side-by-side -side and stack configurations, so you can pick which one might be, might be better for you. Right here at the very top, you're going to see my Logitech HD Pro Webcam C920 webcam that I use to stream. My headphones right here are the Bayer Dynamic MMX 300 PC Gaming Premium Digital Headset with Microphone. And just to the left, you're going to see my Wacom Intuos Pro Medium Touch Tablet with the stylus right next to it. And holding all of this up is going to be the Loctec D7SD Dual Monitor Mount. And it says it holds up to 27-inch monitors, but of course these are 34-inch monitors and it holds them just fine. And like I mentioned before, we did side-by-side. -side. It was a little bit much for left to right, but again, if you go further into this video, you can see more on that. You ready to unbox this, Pepper Ann? Okay. Oops. Oh boy. All righty. Well, we'll check this out in a bit. Here's a bunch of parts. There's all this stuff. More parts. These things look fancy. And then with more parts, more and more fancy stuff. All right. So I'll go ahead and keep these things bundled together. Oh boy. <laughs> we'll keep those in that box. Now, what is this? Setup guide, I'm definitely gonna need that. Setup instructions, remove the back panel, okay. So we'll go through this. Mouse pad here, looks like we got our power cable. More fancy stuff, so much fancy stuff. And let's see if I can't get this thing out of here without embarrassing myself with my phone on my head. Ooh, pretty. And we'll tilt this forward here. I'm just gonna slide this out carefully. Warning, before powering on, you must first remove the packing foam inside of the computer. So remove the back panel on the rear system by unscrewing the four thumb screws here. So we got our tempered glass handle with care on this side. And then over here, lift this over, we got more glass. We got a whole lot of fancy stuff. And if you didn't notice, we're in the cardio room. So maybe we'll do a little jog afterwards. Our light bar, toggle, USB 3.0s, audio jack, mic jack, USB type C, another USB 3.0, power button. Move the four thumb screws right here. One screw. Woo! Step two, run all cables you'll be using through the cable management area of the panel. So all the cables will be run through this little piece right here. And we're not ready to do that quite yet. So let's look at this. Some ports may be covered with plastic protectors. Please remove if needed. Some PCs ship with packing foam inside. Please remove before turning on. So on the back here, we've got ethernet port. Uh, these all look like super speed USB. There's our audio at the bottom there. And then power supply on off switch. Swivel this around here. I'm gonna need to buy some glass cleaner. Ah, okay. Just because I'm curious. Cables, cables, more cables. There's the Samsung solid state drive. Very cool. All right, let's move this thing out and go plug it in. So I gotta turn off the f***ing Roomba. So we're gonna plug our monitor cable into the graphics card here. And here's my wife's Stone Age VGA. Plug in your ethernet cable, your Wi-Fi antenna. And we'll go ahead and plug in the power cable here. 
Alrighty. You are now ready to hit the power button on the side of the system. Enjoy your new main gear. Go around to the side here. Very cool looking. And now we're all fired up. So here is the two 34 inch monitors side by side. It seems a bit much working here and then having reference constantly doing this. I'm probably gonna end up stacking a top two top. If I go around to the back here, side by side, they stretch just enough, but um, Let's launch some stuff in here. Substance Painter. What about all? What about everything in Substance Painter? Oh yeah, that'll fit too. Now a giant Photoshop. I uh, probably wouldn't use that very much, but I would definitely use a giant ZBrush. Hmm, W size on, finally. Okay, this is kind of, this kind of comes in handy. See a lot more of these now. Look at that, this one? Or do I want this one? And then if I go around to the side here, we got these two stacking arms. And also excuse my cable management, I haven't done that yet. We could work pretty big in Photoshop still. And of course when I'm streaming, I'm really only capturing this much of my, my monitor here. Here's 1920 by 1080, is this green outline here. Grab our trusty dog. There we go. Now we can start modeling like a champ. And also, let's see how far down this thing we can go. I'm still gonna be doing a lot of moving over here in that tool menu. Long. I should open up every single one of these and see how many minutes it takes me to scroll to the bottom of here. Anyway, that's why we have custom menus, right? Let's open up our Horizon beer. No problem. Look at that. All the space in the world for my little scene. Every material and key shot. Now ergonomically, what I'm looking at is, I would keep my reference down here. I think that's better than if I was to have it up here. You know, because I could drop, I could raise this up here and then have my reference up here, but I kind of like the, the reference down here at the bottom, but we'll see how that lasts. Dell Ultra Sharp 34 inch monitor. And here's the back plate. Got our power cord. The power brick is built into the monitor. That's why this monitor is a little bit heavier than the Samsung. HDMI cable, USB cable, display port, the mini display port. Monitor stand, which we don't need, so I'm just gonna leave it in there. And the monitor itself. Got all of our import, in, inputs right here. You have two USBs here. Here's your display port out, mini display port in, display port in, HDMI, MHL, and then you've got two super speed USB inputs and then three right here, and then you've also got one sitting over here on the side of your monitor as well. These lock tags, when I had them side by side, it was very, very wide, so I'm gonna stack them top to bottom just like I did my Samsungs. You can see, once these are plugged in, the depth will be fine on these, and we'll go ahead and set this thing up. All right, all set up, not too shabby.